Good morning, church family. This is Margie Mayer. Um, again, it's uh, my, priv my privilege to be here to share a devotion with you this morning. Um, and before we get started, I'm going to say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to share your word and just to um, just pray that it goes out to reach those who you intend it to reach. And Lord, I just pray that it would be a blessing to you. In Jesus' name, amen. My title today is going to be, uh, To Be Transformed, Not Conformed. The other day I was putting my daily message together and um, as I was reading um, Romans 12, 1 and 2, uh, um, I'm going to read that and then I'm going to kind of explain what the Lord put on my heart to share. So uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. This is what the Lord had put on my heart. Um, tearing down strongholds that hinder you from living out your dreams. And then that's where... Um, However, I got to Romans 12 too. I'm not sure, but I just know that the Lord had directed me. And then it tells us to be conform, not to be conformed by the limitation of our old thought patterns, but to re renew our minds with ideas that we had never had before. Instead of staying on the insanity wheel, doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results, dare to think something different and do something different uh, something different than you've ever done before. Uh, construct biblical truths who God has made you to be and let his thoughts transform you, unlocking the potential of living and transforming your life. To be honest with you, I spent the day asking the Lord and myself, how do I do that? How do I think things that are not in my normal way of thinking? According to Philippians 4, it says to let your request be made known to God. So I did. Um, and can you, hold on. So I did and I asked, Lord, can you give me thoughts to think? And, continue, and as I continued reading in Philippians 4, it says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, and whatever things are pure, whatever uh, whatsoever things are of good report, and if there is any virtue, if there is anything to be praiseworthy, think upon these things, and the God of peace shall be with you. But he didn't stop there. In Matthew's nine, Matthew 9, uh, 13, or 6, 9 through 13, we know it as the Lord's Prayer. So, our Heavenly Father, your word is true, you are to be hallowed to, of who you are, what you have, uh, what you are, sorry, what you are, that there is no end of your love for your children. Your kingdom is honorable, and we could not ever imagine being welcomed without accepting the salvation of your son, that your son made possible for, made possible for all who choose, chose him. It is by your grace that we um, have our needs met. The purity of being thought of more than the birds of the air or the flowers of the fields. That you not only care for your children, but you make beauty out of their lives. And as you forgive us, let us um, in our hearts be moved to forgive those who have trans trans trespassed against us. Um, you are praiseworthy, that you could, um, that we could not say with our own words. Therefore, let our lives be a living sacrifice daily to the goodness of our lives. When the Lord answers our prayers, sometimes we don't recognize it because it's so much more than what we could have imagined. Parting part of tearing down the old thoughts, thought patterns is not being conformed to the way the world thinks. The world tells us we can't, or there's nothing going to happen to you. But keeping our minds and hearts filled with the Lord's, Lord's word continually, 
allows a transform a transformation to take place in our lives. And as I was praying over this devotion, um, the Lord just kind of gave me a little segue for right here, and I would like to read that. And it, I'll paraphrase instead of reading it. It's the um, the uh, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of the word. But anyway, of the ten virgins, and that how five of them were ready and five of the parable of the ten virgins. Five were ready and five were not. So this is my paraphrase of it, and what the Lord had put in my heart to share at this point. As I was praying for this devotion, the Lord put this on my heart to share the parable of the ten virgins. I guess I just had to read my own writing. All of them were looking forward for the groom to show up for the wedding feast to begin, but time passed and they seemed that the groom would never show up. Someone, Some of the bridesmaids became weary of waiting and did not keep oil in their lamps, and they failed to trim their wick wicks and when it came when it was time for the wedding to begin they did not have enough oil in their lamps to light the way so they had to try to find oil at the last hour when they returned the door was the door for the wedding feast was closed being in god's word and keeping his commandments follow his following his voice his direction keeps the oil in our lamps filled and the wicks trimmed that we will be ready when the groom comes and we will be able to enter into heaven when we are called. Um, I'm going to go back to the last sentence. Allowing a transformation to take place in our lives. Being transformed, not conformed. Um, allowing, or always being ready to hear the Lord's voice and hearing his directions. And I pray for us today that we can stay in his word, that we have a love for his word. We have just, we just can't wait to be with him um, and that we can be of the, like those 10, uh, the five of the 10 virgins, virgins who were ready to meet the Lord when he came to call his church. And let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for um, all that you do for us. And Lord, I just pray that um, we can be an encouragement to those around us to be in your word, to find out who you are, and to just love you more and more every day. And Lord, I just thank you for this word. In Jesus' name, amen.